Routing options are the direction in which your calls will be forwarded once you have your number. And we have many options to choose from. You can ring to US number, international number, VoIP connection, voicemail, ring to fax, Skype, fax to email, or virtual attendant. Just a brief explanation of each. Ring to US number when you want to ring to a US or a business telephone number. You just put one area code and number. So I'll put one eight one seven five five five. Well, let's do time and temperature. Eight four 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 four. Okay, and you do that and unlock it and hit continue. To route to international number, you start the number with one. 011 and then whatever number you choose to route to a voicemail box now the cool thing about voicemail is it could be any digit any number between four and ten digits long and your voicemail box will automatically be created with that number if you've already have an existing number or existing voicemail box in our system then it will just send it to that voicemail so I say I want to keep a voicemail of 5,000 or I can have a voicemail box of my telephone number 866-444-1616 ring to fax numbers basically the same as ring to US it's not to be confused with fax to email so let me skip down to fax to email fax to email basically you need to enter in your email address so what happens here if if someone calls the number that you have assigned it will actually convert an incoming fax message and send it to your email box okay Skype account very cool thing we have here my Skype account is Robert dot e free dot net feel free to call me anytime you like and it will actually ring to my Skype account if my Skype is open I will receive a phone call on my Skype so that's a really cool feature there Last but not least is virtual attendant. This is where you can forward your numbers to an automatic greeting or an IVR system that's created if you have our virtual attendant service. Virtual attendant something like, oh, thank you for calling company A, press one to speak to sales, press two to speak to customer service. If you have our virtual attendant service, there will be other training videos on how to create IVRs but to route to a specific IVR or to a virtual attendant what you would do is you would go into your back office create an IVR and give an IVR the name so let's say your IVR started with my company main greeting so you would type my company There you go. Thank you. And this is the end of our brief discussion on how forwarding works and our forwarding options. Uh, again, look at our list of videos for detailed instructions on how to do each one once you have ordered your numbers. Thank you and have a good day.